Welcome, everybody. We're back here at Flow's Customer Technology Center in Kent, Washington. Uh, we've been asked by a lot of customers to put together a, a brief video kind of explaining the capabilities and overview of specifically our Mach 100 machine. Uh, we wanted to get into the details of it, configuration options, table sizes, pumps, um, but also kind of explain what that machine looks like and give you a good perspective of it. Let's go out there. I'll show you what that machine looks like. We're here in front of the Mach 100 machine that we were just mentioning there. Like I said, this is just one of the four main platforms of machines we build here at Flow, which is going to include the Mach 200, 300, and 500. Specifically, this Mach 100 at our technology center is configured with our 4x4 foot heading table. We do build this machine in multiple different table sizes, which is going to go up to a 6 foot by 10 foot, give you a little more added width and length to the system, as well as a 6 by 13 foot. And those are all the true cutting algos to the machine, is what we refer to. Specifically, what makes up a water jet system is going to be those four main components, which is going to be your XY table, your motion system of the machine, your operator console, which is where you're going to design and program and run the machine off of, and then you have your high pressure pump, which is generating that high pressure water out to the cutting edge, and then lastly, your abrasive pump. We'll get into the specifics for each one of those components, show you what they look like, but first, let's just jump into the cutting heads. Uh, what I have here is both our water-only cutting head and the abrasive jet cutting head. This is our latest version of that called a Pazer 4. Uh, this is going to utilize that garnet sand for cutting. Generally speaking, as you kind of look at that, the rule of thumb with going to abrasive jet versus water-only is if you can cut it with a, a razor blade or a knife, you can utilize a pure water jet. So it's truly just that, a stream of water coming out of the cutting head. When you go to any harder materials, specifically like your metal applications, that's going to utilize that garnet sand. The beauty of water jets is you use the same flow rate and garnet flow regardless of the material you're cutting. Now that we got the chance to show everybody kind of those two different cutting head options, we first wanted to jump in to show you just that, the water only cutting operation. What we did was we swapped out those cutting heads, put on our water only pure water jet cutting head here. You'll have a little nozzle at the bottom here. In there you have a 5,000 inch jewel. So that's really going to deliver just that, a very fine kind of small jet curve there to do this cutting. Head. What we've designed on there is uh, for this foam cutting application is going to be a little shadow board with a work case so for your tools you can insert it. Really simple operation, easy cut, very kind of quiet operation to watch. Let's get started with the water jet cut. Again, you have that small curve of the jet with the water only, and those inserts are going to fall off here, so you can see what those look like. Very minimal curve to it, near net shape cutting, but then you're going to be able to utilize any of your tool kits. Uh, we're here going to do that abrasive cutting on the Mach 100. We've got some quarter inch aluminum set up on the table, just kind of set up and do some cutting with it. But before we did that cutting, I just wanted to walk everybody through real quick what that operator interface is going to look like. What you have on the screen is going to be a full touch screen display with this, but it's going to use that flow cut. That's the cam portion of our software. This is where your operator simply all he's going to do, or he or she's going to do, is input the thickness as well as select the material type that's going to be cut. The machine controls will do all of the adjustments and do that so you can cut it properly. Um, but it does also allow you to make any changes right here on the screen as well. And you can do that live without having to go back to your programming station. Additionally, you're going to have a full USB drive port on the machine controls so you can transfer files that way. But this is also full network, so you can transfer files in and out of an office real simple. Well, let's go do that cutting here. We'll turn the high pressure pump on.
So we just finished up that abrasive jet cutting with the, the Mach 100 here. We'll go ahead and pull the material off, the part off of the table here so you can see what that looks like. Again, this is going to be that quarter inch aluminum. But the water just going to give you that smooth satin finish across the edge of the material there. So no distortion of your metal or stresses applied in that cutting. As well as you're able to get into the kind of intricate small detail cutting with the jet, getting that fine finish of it as well. So coming right off the machine without any additional fixed green or plant glue. So now we did that cutting with the Mach 100, really wanted to kind of get into the details of some of the design characteristics and features of the Mach 100. Specifically, the Mach 100 is going to be configured what we call an open gantry design. So meaning that you have access from three sides of the tank for loading and unloading materials. It also does give you quite a bit of flexibility of if you had a machine like this 4x4 and wanted to cut a longer sheet, you could actually have that index and get the first section to slide it over and cut the remainder. This machine is configured again with like all of our water jets with the abrasive setup for switching back and forth from abrasive to water only. But this is going to be your mini hopper. That's where your abrasive is going to get flow from the main hopper at the machine out to there. That's a full gravity design to it. So very simple design, but avoids any sort of clogging and features. And that goes right into the port of on the cutting head. Within this, this is going to give you that seven inches of travel uh, within the Z axis of that. So you can be able to cut and just that, virtually any material up to seven inches thick with the machine. Inside of here, you'll see the framework of the tank. So that's gonna be your steel support slats. That'll support 400 pounds per square foot of material on the table. That framework of that is independent of the system, meaning that we can level this out if your floor is not perfectly level. With the Mach 100, one of the nice aspects of it, it's a very compact design. So it gives you a lot of flexibility where you don't have to tie up a ton of floor space at your shop but it also gives you forklift holes mounted on the front. So if you ever did need to relocate a machine down the road, pretty simple, straightforward to do. As we continue kind of walking around the machine, obviously the operator station over there that you have, again, that mobile design, so you can wheel that up to wherever you're cutting with it. But as you go around the machine, you'll see the drive components with that open gantry design. This does include, like all flow water jet systems, full ball screw the X, Y, and Z axis. So those are precision drive motion system, and then each one of those ball screws is fully covered and sealed with your, your covers on the package. Additionally, with this, all you'll see all of your cabling to the machine. So this is where your air, water, and power lines and abrasive lines are getting fed through, kind of built into this cap track here. And then lastly, on the back end of the machine, you'll see we have an auto lubrication system built into that. So this is gonna auto automatically lubricate your base rails at all times, and that's done on a time basis. And then you'll have your operator, your computers, and all your electronics built into that as well. And then lastly, as you see here, it's going to be your high-pressure tubing. That's going to be a single high-pressure whip that goes from the outside of the cutting head all the way to the bridge on the backside. So you avoid any sort of additional kind of clamps or any sort of couplers that be required. So really simple design. So we're here at the main next component of the water jet. That's going to be your abrasive pump. This is where you're going to load that abrasive or that garnet sand into the machine. Uh, easily access to here, so you take your 55 pound bags or a larger super sacks, and those are going to be dumped right into here. There's an integrated mesh screen into there as well that prevents anything from causing and getting out to the, the mini hopper. With this design, you'll be able to fit up to 900 pounds of abrasive sand onto it, um, but easily accessed, tied right into the main machine. As we go to the next item, let's go out to the pumps and look at some of the pump options available from Mach 100 as well. With the Mach 100 water jet, you have several different pump options available, which is going to include both a direct drive and a tense fire pump. Those are going to range from 55,000 up to 60,000 psi, as well as those can be configured with multiple different horsepowers. Uh, what you see here is just that, our Hyflex Prime direct drive pump. Very small, easy design framework of it, so you can easily locate that wherever you want within a shop. Otherwise, yeah, like I said, we can pair the Mach 100 with an intense fire design pump as well. Really, the power behind the Mach 100 is really a, is built off of our platform of what we call Flow Master. This is the software suite that comes equipped with the machine. This will be provided with both online programming on the oper actual operator station, as well as offline programming. So you can do this in an office or a designer station. With that, there's a couple of components to it. There's what's called Flow Path and Flow Cut. The flow path is going to be your true CAD package to it, built on the platform of AutoCAD. Very simple interface to it with a couple of clicks and mouse. You can design virtually most parts to it, and then you'll utilize flow cut. Again, that's going to be the cam portion with the water jet running off. 
with the flow cut module, but it'll actually generate a full cut time as well as a quote screen for the machine. So you can use part estimations as well as costing to it. Uh, but you can modify any part file in here. It's a feed rate override and just about any kind of design feature you want with it. Hopefully that gives everybody a good feel for the design of the Mach 100 and some of the unique design and capabilities of the machine. Uh, but we'd love to really connect with you guys out there. Um, feel free to go on to flowwaterjet.com. We can have some of our local people do t sample cutting for you, time studies, whatever we can be of assistance with as you're reviewing your water jet.